Okay, first of all, there's two types of Amazon affiliate marketing. So the first one is your regular one. It is Amazon Associate. You just sign up, recommend the products, and of course, get the commission. But there is another one, and it's called Amazon Influencer Program. Now, the difference between the two, well, this one is way more harder to get. Amazon Associates is way more easier. What you're going to do here, you just have to sign up. You get the site stripe, you find the product, you get your affiliate link. And then what you got to do, you got to bring the people, bring the traffic to certain products. That, of course, company makes money out of those products. But what happens is that you receive a part of that commission, which on Amazon is low. Honestly, it's low. For Amazon Associates, it's just low. You just have to go with crazy amount of sales, like higher quantity sales. But that's a bad thing. But that is, of course, a good thing as well, because you don't have to go like crazy with the quality of your content that you are going to create. You basically just want to lead the links, the traffic to Amazon. And because of their 24 hours cookie, you don't even have to find the winning product. I'm gonna talk about that cookie later. But first, let's check out what's the deal with Amazon Influencer Program. Well, I've told you this one is harder to get because you have to create the content first. So you have to choose the social media platform and then you will be able to build your storefront. You will have to use, for example, I don't know, TikTok account, Firstly, create some of the content, like, I don't know, maybe 5, 10 videos, and then you will be accepted. But again, don't worry. It doesn't have to be like high-end content, like high-quality video, like, I don't know, Mr. Beast makes, you know? It doesn't have to be like that. And you don't even have to show your face. But my suggestion is that you show your face, okay? Get out there and promote your products, okay? No one else is going to do that for you. And... What I get a lot is, I don't know, people are afraid to go in front of the camera and talk about their products. They think like it's cringe. It's like, oh my God, what is this person going to say about that? What is that person going to say? Well, stop with that, you know? They're not the one who pay your bills, okay? They're not the one who will come and offer you some help, okay? So you do not depend on those views, on those opinions, because... This is what pays you bills. Amazon Affiliate Marketing, Amazon Associates, Amazon Influencer Program, okay? And all of these, like, side hustles that you get, okay? So move that out of the way, okay? That cringe, all of that nonsense, just move that away. The more you promote, the more money you will get. And it's simple. Content creator, just like they say, you provide recommendations to inspire your audience via social media, blah, 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 but you're not going to be an influencer per se because... Here's what happens lately. Nowadays, people and companies want to get user-generated content, okay? That's the same reason why Amazon did this. And it's all because of this, authentic, okay? There's a study, so they say that consumers are 2.4 times more likely to view user-generated content as authentic compared to content created by brands, okay? And that changed with some younger generations, you know, because... Nowadays, we just see an ad and we instantly know that it's an ad. It's an ad for something and we tend to skip those. They're like too much, I don't know, too much effort invested in those ads. So we right away like see, oh, it's an ad. I don't have to watch it right now. You know, that's what it is nowadays because they just invest a lot of money and it's like high quality ad and right away we know it. We see through it. Okay, we've got some experience. But now what's happening is that when people just see I don't know, certain person, a regular person, just like you and me, using certain product. And if we have some, I don't know, similar age, I don't know, similar area where we live, and we see that person using certain product, we feel much closer, you know? And right away, something like certain desire builds up to have that product. And we are far way, like, more inclined to buy the product. On this website, they say us to think about UGC, so user-generated content, as the modern-day word of mouth. And guess what? We can do it as well, okay? Because now you don't have to be an influencer. You don't have to have a lot of followers, you know? Because these guys will pay you just to create the content, okay? So authenticity it's good for us. We can make a side hustle out of this, but because all the things that you need to do in order to succeed in this is to create 
the content. And the most important part about creating content is consistency. Have a look at this channel, for example. This is a theme page on Instagram. It doesn't matter if it's Instagram, whatever. When people see a successful channel like this one, they go like, oh my God, 1.8 million followers. That's great. But what they don't see or they just don't want to see is this number, okay? And this number is way more important, okay? I had a TikTok account and I was just promoting certain things on Amazon, you know, on TikTok products from Amazon, affiliate link, okay? And one month I decided to post once per day. So each day I had to make a video about a certain product from Amazon. I got 4,000 followers in a month, okay? Just from posting regularly and it's same goes like with the instagram page with youtube whatever you choose because you've got to nurture your audience and when these social media platforms like instagram tiktok youtube when they see that you are a regular person that you just take attention from the world to their platform they like you more the algorithm likes you more so that's a bit of a hack bit of a trick so you can just save it for later consistency and dedication you have to work for it Otherwise, it won't work. You're just wasting your time. Now, I've told you, create yourself a TikTok account, let's say, simply because on TikTok, nowadays, at this moment, as I'm recording this, is the best place because they've got a lot of these, like, funny keywords, trendy TikTok products or whatever, and it's Amazon must-haves. The other one is Amazon finds, and you've got a lot of these videos, as you can see. Now, the other one is TikTok made me buy it. They're all hashtags, they're all trends, and you can lean on them. Okay, so what happens here, whichever one of these you take? Well, people are just creating the content, which is short content. And for example, they just film themselves using a certain product from Amazon. And of course, there's going to be a link in the bio, so whenever someone likes this, they will go to the person's profile, they will see this link, and it will lead them to Amazon Storefront, of course. As you can see, Amazon US Storefront, whichever one of these I click, and whenever I make a purchase, this person receives a commission. That is known. But now we come to that number game, you know? How much money? Let's just take this person that we visited before. Let's just take one of these videos. Let's just take one of these better performing ones. So 2.2 million views on this one. So 2.2 million views. Now, the truth is, is that only half percent is going to convert to actual customers. So not even 1%, half percent is going to convert. And when you take 2.2 million people, you just do the math with half percent. So that's going to be 11 thousand people okay honestly that just sounds scary you know out of 2.2 million people 11,000 people will buy the product okay that is low as you know what but don't be afraid in that video they're selling this globe okay it is $50 per piece all right and the Amazon commissions you can find it online let's just say that an average is 4% now if we take $50 and we just find out how much is 4% that's gonna be $2 now it's even more scarier, right? But have a look at this. 11,000 times two, well, that's $22,000 on one video. So $22,000, one video, I mean, that's incredible, you know? But this person just invested a lot of time and effort in order to get to that point. They've got a lot more other videos that don't get that amount of views. So for example, this one has only 100,000, 200,000, 1.5 million, okay, that's a good one. But if you just scroll down to their like past, you will see that not a lot of these have that great amount of views, you know? Well, this person is really successful and good job here. But honestly, what I feel is that on some of these videos, they're paying for ads. And that's totally legitimate way of doing business, right? If you just get some profit from the initial beginner method, I highly advise you that you invest portion of that money into ads, okay? TikTok allows you to just pay for the ads, of course. They will just rank your video higher, and of course, you will get more views. The more views you get, the more conversions are going to happen, and of course, you will just increase the profits, okay? Now, this was a big of a rant of mine, but trust me, it is not that hard when you think about it. You just sit there, you take certain product, and you create I don't, you just film yourself using it okay you can just film your hand you don't have to show your face if you don't want to but you have to create that on a regular basis okay that's the only thing that you have to watch out for because if you just skip the day 
the algorithm is going to hate you. Okay, that's how things work. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It is hard. And what I recommend is that firstly, you just go and see what's what. See if this is for you. And if you decide that you can do this, well, don't give up ever. Okay, just find the products and of course, promote the products that you like. The good thing about this one is that you don't have to have your own products, okay? You don't have to deal with the shipping, you don't have to deal with the packaging, you don't have to deal with the customer service. All of that is being done by Amazon. You just create the content. So in a way, it's it's creative work, you know? It's a really creative work and one that you will be satisfied with, you know? And once you get a rowing, once you get a lot of experience like this person did, well, you're going to be so proud of yourself, trust me. And you're going to have some money to live off of with. This can become a full-time job if you, if you are just that serious about it. So please be, okay? I'll catch you later.